welcome back to every chess youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful poncho it's very simple to make and doesn't take much time and it doesn't even require too much sewing okay so it is really really lovely this is what you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this class thank you welcome back to the every chess youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make a poncho it's a simple blouse like a diy class and it's very simple to make it doesn't require too so much sewing i'll be working with this ankara fabric but usually when making a poncho it's advisable to use it's they usually use heavy fabrics like wool in some parts of the world but here you can just use a prep fabric you can use ankara fabric or whatever fabric to use so for brick for this i'll be using this ankara fabric but it's a bit lightweight so i'll be doing a slight modification from the picture that was sent to me because this was actually requested by a subscriber so to make a poncho you just need little fabric not too much the length that you wish to work with for me i think i'll be going with a length of around 28 inches so i have a fabric that is 28 inches long here you can see so i'm folding it into two because i won't be having any seam on the shoulder but you can also have a seam on the shoulder and i'm going to explain how you can do that so now i have a fabric that is 56 inches long like this then i folded it into two so once i fold it it becomes 28 inches so i'm cutting the front and the back together and then after folding it i'm going to fold it into four like this so like i said i will not be having any seam on my shoulder and then this is the space that I have to work with so like I said earlier you don't need too much sewing and not too much measurement here this is going to be our shoulder area and this here is going to be our M line so now to do this I'm just going to take my neckline measurement and that is off so you don't want your neckline to be too wide because usually this doesn't have button or zip you just put it on like that so that it can stay firm on your body so depending on the type of fabric so you, if you're using a stretchy fabric that has a tendency to even become wider when you cut it you can go with just two inches but i'm using this entire fabric so i'll go with two and a half or three inches okay and you can just be going gradually so once you measure two and a half and cut it out if you don't like it you can increase it because it's actually better for it to be smaller so that i can adjust it down for it to for you to have a wide neck so now i'm working with two and a half inches neckline for this and then i'll be going with around one inch or one and a half one inch okay so I can do this because I'm going to be having, I'm going to be slashing it through at the center front. So if you are not going to be slashing it at the center front so that your head can enter, you know you have to do something wider than this. Okay. But this is looking really small. So I think I'm just going to do three inches. So now I'm doing three inches by one inch for my neckline. And then I'm connecting it with my curve. And then the rest of this length, I'm just going to leave it like that to form part of my sleeve. So I think I have around 20, because this uh, this fabric is actually by 45. So I, I have around 22 and a half inches left. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this out. So I'm cutting this out now. And then I'll notch here. So assuming you want to have like a shoulder slant so that I can sit well on your shoulder. On this area here, you just go down by around 2 inches. Then from there, you connect it to your neckline to form a shoulder slant. But in that case, it means you're going to be having a seam on your shoulder. But I don't want any seam on my shoulder. So now my puncture is almost ready since I have my neckline done. So I just want to notch this shoulder point so that I will know where my shoulder meets. So after notching it, I want like a V shape on my front neckline. So I'm going to open it up so that I can detach my front neckline from my back neckline. 
and the notch I made is going to help me to know where the center is. Okay, so I'm just going to match these notches together and then I have my center front separate like this. My front body separate. Okay, so this is my back part and this is my front. So now on my front, I just want to have like a slight fit. It is not compulsory. You can just slash it open like this. So remember, we took one inch depth before. So I'll be adding five inches to make it six inches here. And then I'm going to mark it. And using the slightly curved area of my ruler, I'm going to connect this like this to have like a V. And then from there, I'm just going to slash everything open like that. So now I cut out my V part. And then the rest of it, I'm going to slash it open like this. And my control is almost ready. So the next thing for me is just to aim it where necessary. And then you just put it on like that. So this is what we have now. So this is what we have in now and usually there are no seams on the sides also so like i said they usually use every fabric so that it can still work but this is ankara fabric and it's very lightweight so i may decide to just add maybe a button here to hold it together for me and then just sew it a bit on the sides also i'm not sure yet but for this center part on the neckline area i have this black ribbon so i'll be using that to aim it round so that i can just have a touch of maybe a touch of plain fabric for me and I want that part to be distinct so I'll be sewing this round the neckline to hem it so if you don't have this you just need to serge it or hem it where necessary where all this frills is and your poncho is ready okay so it, the neckline has been piped now with this plain ribbon and you can see this is the sleeve part of the dress and it's open on this side so like i was saying because i'm using a car fabric i may decide to just close it a bit on the side but i'm not sure yet but this is how you make your simple poncho you can see it's really lovely i'll try to hang this up on the mannequin so that i can see what it looks like okay so this is a beautiful poncho on a mannequin can see how beautiful and simple it is to make this it's very very simple and it is lovely so if you find this tutorial helpful kindly let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload new video see you in the next one bye